All right, I've got a new series of Mariel's Fan Fiction Archives. Now, I finished the Cyber Action Adventures fanfics. What could I possibly... No. Oh God, please no. <sighs> the things I do to please my subscribers. In 2015, I started collecting these singing animatronic dolls. Specifically, the ones you usually see at stores for holidays like Valentine's Day or Christmas. And of course, being the undiagnosed autistic person, I created my own series for them! This series followed the wonderful misadventures of Lionel, Flo, Cheesecake, Yabby, Jody, Miley Cyrus, and many other characters, including a love child between Lionel and Yabi, because, of course. So let's all sit back, relax, grab some popcorn if you need to, as we read this shithole of a series that lasted multiple journals. So, as you can see, this is my very first fanfiction journal. Cat Dragon Legends Volume 1. Ah. I wrote this between the years of 2014 and 2016. The first was a Joe Riel fanfiction that I'm not going to bother reading, but the second one is part of the... I guess you can call it Cat Dragon Legends... Yeah, I guess for the sake of this introduction, I'm going to call it the Cat Dragon Legend series. Um, and you can tell this is fucking ancient because, like, it's falling apart at the fucking seams. <laughs> I never really had an official name for this series because the book I just showed you on screen was originally going to be a book of just random Joe Riel stories, which, you know, only one came to fruition, but I am way too embarrassed to read it. I made these cat dragon stories from 2016 until late 2017. I'm not going to share the 2017 story because it contains content that one would probably be bullied for, or at the very worst, cancelled if I talked about it online. So today we're reading episode one, The Love Singers. Seriously, look at this cover art. It's, it's shit. I was 12 when I made this, like, <sighs> okay, okay, um, oh, oh dear lord, what the fuck is that? Okay, I'm, Okay, I'm gonna try not to be too hard on myself, but it's gonna be really hard not to be. So let's get started. Chapter one, a piece of meat, okay. Okay, can we just admire the wonderful drawing of a cave that I made on this page? Yeah, just two cylinders with two torches on the top. Just admire for a moment just how wonderful this turned out. I'm obviously kidding. Look, cheesecake. Aw, now what? What is it now, Flo? Cheesecake took my beef! WITHOUT ASKING! So? Can you hunt to get more beef, please? Well... Please. Okay, what the fu- <laughs> Okay, why are the characters so small on these pages? I could have drawn more background art on here, but no, I just I just decided to like make these tiny ass characters and not even like draw more characters or more background stuff to like, you know, take up a whole page. Yeah, 12-year-old Mariel logic was weird. Oh, all right. In the forest, Oh, look, more beautiful background art with Lionel's shadow just reflecting in the distance. Okay, beef. Hey, Lionel. I know I had bad handwriting, but why did I make the O in Lionel look like an E? And 
I've got to admit, and this is probably the worst thing I'd ever say about this comic so far, or at least the entirety of the series, but this frame of Yabi here looks like it had the most thought put into it compared to all the other characters. Oh, God, Yabi. Okay, the thing where I have to put two dashes to represent swear words returns. Chapter 2, Flirting. And this is supposed to be Yabi's house because it has a heart-shaped door. That, yeah, that makes perfect damn sense. Not. Wait a minute. What is Lionel doing in this photo? Is he, like, sitting on a pile of sticks? Um, is he, like, is he sitting on a pile of sticks or is he taking a massive shit? Do you need anything, Lionel? Oh, wow. Now we downgraded Yabi's design. How wonderful. Well, my sister wants some beef. Click. What? What is she clicking? Is she, like, clicking a button or a vending machine? What? I didn't even bother to draw any of this in. I... Ugh. Three hours later? It took you this long to get beef? Well, uh, you know. Oh, wow. These designs get even worse over time. Like... Now Yabi doesn't even look like a cat anymore. She just, she looks like a human with cat ears and stubby little arms and legs. Yabi? Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute, Flo, why are you getting pissed? <laughs> Chapter 3, Don't Touch. Don't stand, don't stand. Hello, I'm back with plenty of text space to fill the speech bubble that the 12 year old who wrote this didn't even think to put in. <gasps> A ball of yarn, I think. Give me that. At dinner. Okay, this is where my handwriting looks like shit. Can I have some steak, Flo? This, this this frame right here of Cheesecake begging for steak, I guess. It a lot more thought was put into this frame than the whole the whole entirety of this comic. Right next to the Yabi frame. <sighs> no, bad lion. <laughs> what the fuck? Flo, your 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 sister just your younger sister or whatever just asked for steak. Ugh, tree bark. You'd feed cheesecake tree bark rather than steak. All because she stole a slab of beef. Chapter 4. Gone for good. Oh, yes. The wonderful forest backdrop returns with cheesecake running off in tears. Cheesecake? Oh, Yabi, don't come near me. <laughs> Why can't I touch you? I screw up. I screw up there. I screw up there. I said it. Don't you mean screwed up? What? No, you aren't. Come with me. Aw, the, the. Okay. I put a little more detail into the waterfall, but the rest of it looks like shit. Back at the den. Hey, a note. Flo, get your tail over here. You didn't even bother to cover up Lionel's mouth over the piece of paper. Good job, 12-year-old Mariel. You're a great artist. You, you could be the next Picasso someday. Not. Guys, if you are reading this, I'll be gone for good. I know that you'll live a good life without me. P.S. Tell Flo I hate her. <laughs> oh, wow. That was an iron cloud. That was an what what the whatever the fuck Gwen said in camp camp that that is that is what this is. Flo, you didn't have anything to do with this, did you? What? No 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 no. <sighs> yes. Chapter five: A lion filled with hate. Wow. Do you want anything? Look, I know this sounds dumb, but can I stay with you? Well, all right then. Thanks, Yabi. Okay, you can stop now. Okay, can let me take a moment to look at this. 
Yabi looks like a home movies character. She she looks like a bootleg Paula Small in this picture. Yabi, it's almost time for... And then Yabi and uh, Cheesecake are hanging out. Then they all just laugh. It's not funny, MC. Haha, <laughs> Cheesecake, I'm going to make you a bed. Thanks, Miley Cyrus. Kiss my tail, Lionel and Flo. <laughs> oh, wow, she is... So Cheesecake, from what I'm seeing here, is like the youngest of the three and is more so the um, angsty preteen or something like that. Chapter 6, Revenge. At Lionel's Dead. Um, Flo? Oh, she must be sleeping right now. Flo? Flo? It's time to get up! Ah! Lionel, what the crap? Lionel, what's with the sword? Well, we might need it. Oi. Oh, look who's roaring. Back at Yabi's den. So, wait a minute. This doesn't even look like a den. This looks like two trees with a hammock. <sighs> Good morning, Lionel. And Oh. Hi, Cheesecake. <laughs> oh, Yabby, you were right. In the woods. What are you happy about? Cheesecake isn't here. That is it! To be continued. Unfortunately.